here tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. All right, Griffin Rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Got clipped with the right hand. Misses with the left hook. Nice kick. You can't break your will. Ooh, head kick lands in his hurt. Unable to connect with the right. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Ooh, big shot lands. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Superman punch. Just misses there with the left. All right, let's go. Let me set up that Pretty good right hand. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. That was a thudding leg kick. He blocks the punch. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, counters with an overhand left. He 
stuck that one. A huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Nice head kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Let's focus. Let's focus. Big body kick. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice one, two there. Able to check the high kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Good stick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just missed with the left there. Head kick lands. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Nice sneaky head kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Leg kick. Single collar tie now. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That's a big strike right there. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Came of inches right there. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. There, DC. Great job landing that punch. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice head kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lands with the right hand. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Straight right hand now, just misses. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Nice punch lands over the top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. That punch, no good. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Ooh. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. 20 seconds left. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Now connects with the right. What a punch. Great, no more strikes. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Are uh, you ready? You ready? Let's go fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Watch knees to the body. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. 
Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Beautiful punch. Blocks the shot. Wow. Oh, beautiful slip and counter there by Shore. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Out of range with that one. Just over three minutes to go now. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, nice. Nice. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, and he caught the kick. Right hand punch the clinch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Ooh, what a punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Big leg kick lands. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, man, head kick lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Nice punch lands over the top. Single collar tie. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Lands the right hand. Big and kick. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Choi. And now establishing that jab once again. Waning seconds here of round number three. Nice strike. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. Really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready? underway. That was some Ready? serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. 
Just out of range with that left hook. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Ooh, what a punch. Head kick. Oh, nice right hand. How good is that right hand? Just misses with a left hook there. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot. Right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A little bit. Horrible. Well, at this point, the fight is way up on the judges' scorecards, and from a stamina standpoint, he looks like... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. And he landed the right hand there. Under three minutes now to go on the round. There's no tell on that leg. Back and forth we go. Nice punch by Choi. Those jabs are landing now. And there comes the separation now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. Just misses with the straight right. Good punch, Lance. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Just misses with the jab. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Choi's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Well, missed on that one. Throws the right hand there. Just misses with the left hook. Nice punch, Lance. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Relax, relax. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. 20 seconds left. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Nice straight punch. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, well, that's the end of the round, and the cut above his eye, ladies and gentlemen, has gotten really, really nasty. Prevailing wisdom is if it gets any worse, they are going to stop this fight. 
All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round might be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice head kick. Nice punch there. It's such a fast leg kick. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Nice leg kick lands. Punches block. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nice right hand. being landed on both sides here. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Just missed with that right hand. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an out? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Wow! It's over, it's over! Wow! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight, near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 21 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout.